Tonight we're hearing from DC leadership about a street takeover that was caught on camera this week on that same stretch of road. John Duran spoke to residents who are wondering if the new law in neighboring Maryland could provide an answer. This is crazy. Neighbors rushed outside as these booming sounds nearly shook this neighborhood. You could almost feel it. Security video shows cars doing donuts in the middle of South Dakota Avenue and 12th Street Northeast Thursday night. An intersection residents like Lynn Lofton says is extremely busy. You really have a recipe for disaster. It's it's just not safe. It's not safe for anybody. And we now have pedestrians all over the place. I, I get that people are in car enthusiasts and all that, but that, that type of stuff doesn't belong on the streets. It's, it's dangerous. Where I'm standing is only a few blocks away from Prince George's County. We're starting Saturday. They say anyone caught at a car meetup or a street takeover like we saw here could be faced with fines and potential jail time. And that has some residents in this neighborhood wondering if they could see more incidents like the one on Thursday crossing the Maryland border more often. I'm sure it will. I'm just hoping the uh, D.C. City Council is aware. I'm hoping they'll do what they can to prevent it. I mean, this is just bad. We're working closely with the 5D commander, the 4D commander, to ensure that they are increasing traffic enforcement monitoring. Council member Zachary Parker says the city is keeping a close eye on D.C.'s neighbors. What we know is that out-of-state drivers, namely from Maryland and Virginia, are recklessly driving through our communities and threatening our lives. Lofton hopes it's the last time she sees something like this on her block. I'm sure these people who drive these cars have some place to let off steam. I don't know if it should be in a neighborhood. In Northeast DC, John Duran, WUSA 9.